In this video, I will be coding an entire website using only emojis. To achieve this, I will use two files, one for the page layout and the other one for styling. Similar to HTML and CSS, but this is totally different than original. We would eventually need to generate HTML because browsers aren't proficient as we are, so the first thing on my to-do list is to write the translator program. After that, I will try to build a website with the language I decided to call Shimoji. To build a translator, we can leverage concepts from compiler design. The initial phase, called lexical analysis, involves scanning the source file, creating an array of tokens and passing them to the subsequent phase. The following phase is syntax analysis, where checks are performed to ensure tokens in the source file are utilized in the correct order. I was just too lazy to build syntax analyzer, but if you want to do it, you can contribute to the project by visiting the link in the description. I decided to use Python for building the translator because it offers a straightforward setup process. To begin, I created a main function that takes two arguments, the paths to the template and source files. Following that, I developed a service capable of reading input files and writing content to the desired output file. To represent the Shimoji language, I constructed a dictionary using emojis that conveyed the intended meaning. For example, I utilized a box emoji for the div tag, a camera emoji for the image tag, and clock emojis for numbers. Each dictionary element included the corresponding output string and token type. These types aided in generating the output HTML and CSS strings. Moving on, I implemented Elixir, which involved creating a function that iterated through the source file, generating tokens when emojis from the dictionary were encountered. Once all the emojis were converted into tokens, the next step was to produce the output HTML and CSS text based on those tokens. I created a translate function that has some nasty conditional logic. But basically, in this function, tokens were iterated through, their types were checked, and the appropriate output string from the dictionary was appended to the final output string. Additionally, I created a helper service that generated the output HTML string, placing the generated HTML inside the body tag and the styles within the style tag. Lastly, I assembled all components within the main function. The process involved reading the two input files, performing lexical analysis to obtain template and style tokens, passing those tokens to the translate functions, utilizing the HTML service to obtain the final HTML, and finally writing that HTML to the output file. And the translator was done. It was almost time to suffer, but before that I dedicated some time to craft the design I aimed to bring to life. My idea was to create a hype around Shimoji, so I created an attractive homepage that would absolutely hypnotize users and make them think I created something really innovative. So here's the impressive design I came up with. When I started building the website, the first thing I focused on was the template file. I began by creating an outer container and assigned it a class represented by an emoji. I then added various styles, which I'll translate for you. Color should be white, height should be 100% viewport height, which should be 100%, and the background color should be a linear gradient. Direction to right, gradient color should be these hex values, overflow should be hidden, and display set to flex. Debugging proved to be the most challenging part, as I had to run the translator program each time I made changes to the Shimoji files. As you can see, the translator generates an index.html file that can be viewed using live server in order to track progress. Next, I created an image tag within the template and placed the image inside the assets folder. I proceeded to add text and create a button to complete the template. Furthermore, I enhanced the styling in the Shimoji style file to achieve pixel perfect results. Once everything was completed, I ran the script for the final time and the script generated this HTML file. Now, let's see the impressive results. Hello everyone, if you made it this far, put those emojis into good use and hit that like and subscribe button as it will help the channel out. Also, please share the type of content you would like to see more on my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.